Um, last night on Dynamite, which I thought was a fine show overall, the biggest eventful you know aspect of the episode, Sting announcing that he's uh, wrapping up his in-ring run at AEW and just in general, because uh, he said during his first retirement speech in 2016 that the only thing for sure about Sting is that nothing's for sure is you know famous catchphrase. But he said this is for sure. He's wrestling his final match, period, not just for AEW. At Revolution 2024, the same show where he debuted at three years ago in that tag team match, that cinematic match with Darby Allen against Team Taz. So that's about five months. Uh, we we kind of had a feeling they'd be wrapping up soon. He signed, I think, a three-year deal in December of 2020. And I thought he might wrap up at Winter is Coming, but you know they should save it for a big pay-per-view in full gears too soon. So they're saving it for... I mean, there, there might be more pay-per-views before then, too. I'm just assuming there's full gear and Revolution. There's bound to be more because there's rumored to be more. Uh, but he will be wrestling his final match, according to Sting, at the Revolution show in March, I think it is. Next March. That's about five, four and a half months from now. Um, your thoughts on the Sting announcement and uh, what you could see his final match being in AEW, whether it be his first singles match in the company or just another standard tag team match or whatever it might be. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, I would say just do him and him and Darby do his last match, put Darby over. Because, I mean, that's who he's been aligned with the whole time. I don't mm-hmm. know if you theoretically have to turn either of them heel or vice versa. But, no, I think that would make the most sense. I mean, another tag team match, kind of, I would be kind of against that. But I think, it, theoretically, I would say him versus, him versus uh, Darby. I mean, I don't know what the next five months are going to look like. We could see him do a lot. We could see him do this in the next five months. But I was thinking, what about the possibility of him and Darby? If they're not going to do any Sting singles matches, which they haven't done at all, if they're going to do one, it, they should be saving it for his last match, and he puts over Darby, like you said. I think that'd be cool. Darby can say that he beat Sting or retired Sting, whatever. But what instead, if they want to do you know, another tag team match, what if him and Darby finally win the tag team titles? I mean, it, the fact that the, we, we talk about, this company talks about, oh, wins and losses matter. If wins and losses matter, dude, Sting has won literally every single match he's had in this company. He has not lost a single match in WWE, or I'm, I'm sorry, in a, he lost every match that he had in WWE for the most part. Um, he's won every match that he's had in AEW, but he has yet to get a tag team title shot. So if they can win the belts and then just, you know, vacate them that same night or the next day or Dynamite or whatever, then they'd be fine. But I feel like it'd be cool for him to go off on a high note by uh, winning the belts. At least having these wins amount to something, because so far they have not. And he's active enough to where it's not like he's wrestling once a year. I mean, we have a title on WWE, in WWE that's on Roman Reigns who wrestles three times a year. I don't think it'd be too out of the or uh, you know out of the question for Sting to win a tag team title after wrestling you know every couple weeks, every couple months, and then he can vacate it that same night. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I would say I'm kind of out on that. I mean, <laughs> why would you win the belts with the? I don't know. I just feel like. But okay, the, for strategy. The belts so just vacate them. I guess they're on fucking. We've seen Ricky it before. Stars, big bill at this point, so it does not totally matter. But I don't know. We've I don't seen love it be- the idea, but I mean. I Trish guess. Stratus did I, it. What do you mean? Trish Stratus did it back in '06. She said she was retiring, but she won the women's title that same night anyway. Yeah, and it was dumb then too. <laughs> The women's division also meant nothing. I mean, the AEW tag team division at this point means nothing anyways, but uh, honestly, and that, and, and now that I think about it, honestly, just have, her, have them win and just drop the belts. Why not? Well, they wouldn't be dropping them. They would just vacate them. Drop the belts. Same well, they, they're not going to... It's not gonna... like, just, like, just dumb to win the belts with a vacate. Like I said, at least like in 06, the women's division meant nothing. I mean, we had Cherry skating around on fucking rollerblades, so... <laughs> Uh, I, I'm kind of out on that idea. It would just add more stakes, because it's not like, oh, if Sting loses, he's gone. We already know he's gone, so it's not even like there's any real drama there. The only other match, I'm just saying I would only want that if he's not facing Darby one-on-one. If it's just a Sting regular match, I mean, it's special because it is his last match, but there's no, I mean, there doesn't have to be stakes. It's, it's stakes in the sense that he is wrestling his final match, but... I would like, I mean, maybe the, the, I say what I said before was anything can change in the next five months. He could win the belts next month. I mean, Ricky Starks and Big Bill are champions right now. Is that going to last? I don't think so. They're not a real team. That's just kind of, they're not random, but I don't know. I, I think they could, I think Ricky and Big Bill, maybe part of the reason why they won the belts was because they have that in mind and the idea is to do Darby and Sting against them at some point, if not at that show, which is in, again, four months from now. I don't know. Just just something to keep in mind. I, I would prefer, though, your idea where he just puts over Darby one-on-one. I know Darby said he doesn't want to do that, though. I don't know what the reason is. Um, just because he doesn't want to do it doesn't mean it won't happen. I mean, just get over it. But um, same thing with Sting. I think he's capable enough. He's shown at this point where he can do a singles match if he wanted to. But, again, time will tell. 